do we have here oh yeah this is a, this is a kind of an interesting observation just from my point of view so i was perusing on the instagram and i saw that lucas about the model and actor um did a recent art show um this is here on the screen it says howdy i'm really excited to showing some of my first works at the off-site studio media alongside some of my favorite artists book an appointment blah 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 and he's obviously showing the works that he's showing which is essentially an upside down chair it looks like or a chair that's been put um a, a table that's been turned upside down and a chair has been placed inside it that's basically um one of his interactive uh live pieces of work that he's hosting in the gallery and it made me think the and it made me think about kind of the pressure that's put on specifically black creatives it feels like which is again i'm not that kind of guy to be like a black and white thing but it's annoying that you have to be super amazing and great and and talented and out of this world at what you do in the arts or in the creative field when you're black but then the non-black people can basically get away with being completely mediocre and just kind of skating by doing the bare minimum because it feels like of course lucas what i'm gonna say 23 24 i'm not too sure how old he is maybe right he's approaching that kind of age so the kind of um, novelty of him being a young hot and pause guy is obviously gone um there's obviously new people that are coming up in the scene behind him who are 18 19 that people are featuring more so now he might be himself tired and kind of exhausted of being the model anyway because i'd imagine that kind of schedule of you know turning up to places being prodded and made to walk in you know in, in weird clothes and uncomfortable situations can get tiring really quickly especially if you didn't actually come into the scene wanting to be that person it's obviously a good opportunity to get a lot of money in a short period of time doing basically nothing but over time if you want if your aspirations are a bit grander right for yourself and you see yourself more as a creative overall it can be a bit exhausting to be tied towards that model label and you don't want to being a model i'd imagine it's sort of like being typecast in a tv series or a movie you don't want to keep doing the same role all the time because people aren't going to be open to seeing you doing other roles so imagine the modeling thing if you do it too long people won't really be receptive if you start djing if you start finally writing non-fiction or being a public speaker or whatever it may be right if people are going to view it a little bit deeper but it just annoying that he has to kind of pivot so hard into a space like art contemporary art for instance he has to try and prove himself in this field you know he's going to get criticized and you know and people are going to point out that he looks lame and it's like an inspiration and what is this blah, blah, blah. but he's going to, have to learn in real time he's going to get a lot of pelters thrown at him just because he's trying to pivot away from being the cute kid that models into maybe being a full-time serious quote-unquote artist and you know for the most part people his friends it looks like on the comments seem to be liking what he's doing but i'd imagine a lot of people inside the actual art world itself will be looking at him like a bit of a poser that he's just pulling up on you because he's kind of realized that his time as a model is maybe gone but again i just it's just annoying i think for myself as a fellow black male to see somebody like him having to do so much in order to prove your worth sort of thing right he can't just be mediocre and turn up and just do whatever right and just throw a couple of shitty pictures that he took on his phone up on the gallery wall and that people pay he has to go above and beyond to prove himself in the field and it's just annoying it really really is because if we look at that there is not much difference between what he did there if you're criticizing what he did with you know a very quote-unquote serious artist and david lynch who's part of the if i'm not mistaken stillhouse group right with jack gray and all those kind of good dudes right so a very prominent and influential contemporary artist and he did this piece here called um the weight of an elephant which if you're not w watching this is basically a foldable chair that's been bent with a ball it looks like so basically the ball's been made to look like it bent the chair and it's been placed in the corner of a gallery and you know it's a pretty serious piece of artwork i'm sure there's many editorial pieces and reviews written about it and he's been you know heralded bloody blah, blah 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 and of course still house group is a fairly well respected art collective in general but there's not much difference between that and what lucas about done right but for sure people are going to have a lot more words to say about what he did because his face doesn't fit right or where he's from doesn't fit or maybe because of the fashion background whatever it may be it's just a little bit annoying and then another example is this um a robotic self-healing chair that was featured when was this 2007 right 2007 which is a pretty it's a pretty novel and creative idea but again there's not much to this um that you would think that would kind of separate it from what luca has done i'm going to play this now for you let's get up on you on the screen and let's play this video so this is a, a chair that basically um heals itself right it kind of looks broken and then kind of heals itself at the flick of a switch
<laughs> That's it, broken on stage. <laughs> At an event called ID City 06. And then little by little, it puts itself together. Pretty cool. Okay, standing up now. Done. Hey. But anyway, that's it basically. Um, but yeah, good luck to Luca. Hopefully, um, it works out for him. This um new pivot into art. And hopefully he gets an opportunity to just prove himself, you know, like everybody else. Get kids in a fair crack of the whip instead of being, you know, um, judged in an unfair crack, in an unfair way based on his background, where he's from, whatnot, etc., etc. I would just prefer it if we were allowed to be mediocre much more than others. We have to kind of go above and beyond to prove our worth. But again, you know, I'm sure he's, he'll be okay. He's got all the resources and connections needed in order to be... Um, successful and I'm sure if I'm not mistaken from that interview did with Kerwin I think his dad's an artist or something like that so I'm sure he's going to be pointed in the right direction in terms of pro pro um, progressing and perfecting his practice over time so no harm in that one but definitely something to keep an eye on